your side from today's TMJ4. This is Live at Noon. And today at noon, a foggy start to the work week. The fog hasn't lifted for some folks. Welcome back. The village of Greendale in southern Milwaukee County celebrating its diamond anniversary. This unique community turned 75 years old this year. A Greendale native is trying to get his photography project to print. And here to tell us more about it this afternoon is Steve Peters. He's working on a book called Greendale Then and Now. Welcome, Steve. Good to see Hi. you. Thank you. All right, so I guess we should first start for folks who don't know Greendale very well. This is a very unique community, one of three planned communities in America, and it was uh, part of a federal project. Correct. In the 1930s, when we were in the Depression, President Roosevelt, part of his New Deal projects, had the WPA and the Resettlement Administration, and he created three of these towns, Green Hills, Ohio, Greenbelt, Maryland, and Greendale, Wisconsin. In two years, it went from open farmland to a complete village mm -hmm. and uh, provided work for men and, and new homes for, for residents. And we're looking at uh, some of the work that you've done. So uh, tell us how you went about the process. You just found a, an old photograph somewhere and then tried to recreate that in its modern time? Well, I, I, several years ago, I, f I came across some uh, original photograph postcards of Greendale, thought of a, a looking at the new, new uh, scene today, what it would look like. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, since then, I've joined the Historical Society in Greendale, and I have uh, access to all the archives of their old photographs. And I did a calendar this year of 13 of the images, but as I was taking the pictures, I took a lot more of them, and I decided to do an entire book of 75 of the then and now images. And some of them uh, obviously have changed quite a bit, and others, not so much. Correct, yeah. Some of them uh, look exactly the same. A couple in, in case points are like the hose tower, Mm -hmm. uh, for the fire department and the water tower is exactly the same. There's a water tower, I see that's up now. And watch when it, when it changes, it, it's the same tower. And uh, so some, yeah, some are, are very similar and some have changed quite a bit, but uh, still very recognizable. Now, to get this project done, you've gone through a, sort of an interesting way of getting the startup cost. Tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, there's a website called kickstarter.com that uh, they provide uh, a way for artists or creative people to get funding for their projects, whether it's a book, a play, or a musical, or, or a video. And uh, if you go to kickstarter.com, you'll see my project there, and I'll have a little short video, and I'll explain the project. And you can uh, do pledges towards mm -hmm. the project, and you get rewards for the pledges. So it's not a straight donation. Uh, the more you pledge, the more you get. As they say. And you're getting pretty close, but you yes, need a little bit more I, help I, in order to make it happen. Right. I checked this morning just before I left, and I'm within a few hundred dollars of my goal amount. And if I reach the goal amount, then I will get the funding. And if I go beyond the goal amount, that's great. I could produce more books or maybe even a hardcover book. Well, congratulations. It looks great so far. I hope you get it done. And for more information on Greendale then and now and how you can help Steve make this project a reality, you can head to our website, tmj4.com. We've set up a link for you right there.